Xbox here and uh, this is a video showing you how to assemble the lower half um, of a KWA uh, Mark M1911 pistol. Uh, there's the top uh, system right there. I'm not going to put that together because I don't really know how and I don't need to take it apart. The reason I took this apart was um, because of one little piece that I stupidly broke. Um, this piece is actually a common problem in the M1911 series by KWA and um, a lot of people have had the problem. So if you if you guys ever have a your gun, your KWA, uh, stop firing, everything sounds like it will fire but it's all gassed up and it doesn't fire. One um, common problem might be this little piece right here see that that right there is the um, f actual firing mechanism and what it's supposed to have is a little uh, spring post on it so here I ordered a new one which is right there from KWA it was eight dollars you can see it has that tiny little post on it whereas this one doesn't I don't know if you can't really see that but um, that post holds a spring which keeps it in line so it can hit the trigger, I mean hit the gas release on the mag, sending enough gas to fire the weapon. So that was the piece I got, $8 free shipping. Um, it's kind of expensive, but to get the whole thing running really wasn't. And, uh, this is just a video because I couldn't find any out there of me putting together a lower um, and trigger mechanism assembly on the KWA gun. So first thing you gotta start with are actually those pieces right there. You have your this piece, a little pin, that mechanism I was talking about, as well as the spring it's very small right there so I'll zoom in for you guys all right so you want to start with it like this first thing you want to do is put this pin in this side right here just a little bit so you can get this second piece which is this with the pin facing or the little shaft or post facing away from this bigger pin let me just put the spring down alright so the post is away and you can slide that pin in just for now we'll open it back up later so you see you'll have it like that it's all flapping around but the big side of the pin right there is away from that spring post now it's time for the spring now what the spring is meant to do is to keep this when it's in the gun like this is to keep this down so the way I found works best is you slide this out just a little bit that pin there put this in it's kind of I guess upside down put it in kinda of have to press kinda of hard on the spring and then you can just push that thing through sorry you guys can't really see this camera doesn't focus that well so you have the spring in there now you have to basically move the longer spring arm up onto that post that was most likely broken if you're watching this video so just kind of move it up onto that post now it's spring loaded and it will fire Okay, 
Next, you have to assemble or get these three pieces together like this, along with this little brass um, pin, I would call it. So here's what the pieces look like. Now they have to go in a specific order, starting with this one that we just worked on. So that goes all the way to the right. Then it's this one, which you can see that big flat area actually fits in right there perfectly. And last but not least, this one right here fits in like so. Now I'm going to put it in this main housing right here. Get zoom in a little bit for you guys. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is that order I had, put it in like so. So first goes like this. Drop that. Just try and kind of slide each piece on individually. Yeah. Sorry guys. I'm not a pro at this myself. But um, just thought I'd try and help you guys out. So you got that first one on. And then the second one we talked about, which is this one, with that big flat area up there. That goes on next. And uh, that flat area is supposed to rest up against the um, that first piece we put on. I'm sorry. I'll make sure you can get it on so don't push that thing all the way through yet. Alright. Now that one's in. Those two are the harder ones. Now this is the easy part. This one goes in like that with that bigger piece at the bottom. It actually slides in. It has a square hole in the middle. So um, it actually can move on this little thing up and down which is all part of the firing mechanism. So that piece slides right down there and actually comes up out of this hole right here. We just put that piece on right there and uh, right there. Okay, so now the hard part's out of the way. So now that we have that, we can actually take our lower right here. This actually is part of the um, thing that makes it safety stay in. But right there, I'm actually going to wipe off some of this uh, grease on there. Or silicone oil, rather. Not grease. <laughs> okay. So now, you just want to kind of slip that in there, making sure it all goes in, and then down here, you also want to be careful of this firing pin right here. Don't let that slip out, and if it does, it's easy to put back in, but you just don't want it to fall out. All right, so this piece down here, yeah, you kind of have to use like, I don't know, paper clip or something, which is what I'm using here, to get this middle piece behind. Actually, let me get this spring loaded so it works. So you take your um, main spring assembly here, I guess, with all the little arms. You have to zoom out a little bit for you. 
slide that in the back there so it's pushing up against all these different components and you want to get this middle one they should all be underneath the big spring including this far one over here sorry guys it's probably not a very good video but it's kind of hard to do all this but it's just kind of the basics and um, need any help with any specific parts just you know make a comment and I'll definitely answer it for you so now that you have that there as you can see when you pull the trigger back and this goes back that middle one that we put in right there will go forward and release everything I guess okay now that we have that on, we're just going to put this piece on temporarily, which goes right here, slides in the bottom, just to hold that assembly in there while we put on some more parts. Okay, so there's also this piece right here, this pin, it's kind of like a reinforcement pin, which actually just goes in this, that spot right there can't really see that that well but um, it uh, it actually goes through that little bronze tube that we put those three things f through so try and get that yeah and should be flush with that so that also keeps this main ping thing in along with this little screw which we'll put in now as well so you can see that little screw just don't very loosely put it in I mean it doesn't have to be crazy tight just make sure you get it in the threads so don't strip it so just go right in all right so that's in. We have all that in. We got these in. Next, we'll do our trigger. I mean, sorry, our hammer. So you're going to want to slide this back to make it easier because the trigger spring is very hard to maneuver. First, actually, kind of make sure that these parts stay back and. Okay, so you take your hammer, literally just set it in there. And put this pin in right here. You'll know which pins go where because they fit in absolutely perfectly, which is a great feature that uh, KWA, because they all go flush with the body, so nothing is messed up. Okay, next, we'll do the beaver tail safety. So this is kind of hard to get in, but then again, it's, it's not. But um, I'm trying to say is, you're going to want to get it so that this hammer is cocked halfway. That's all the way up, so. And that's all the way down. So right there, halfway. So then you can put in the safeties that hold that beaver tail in. So these actual ambidextrous safeties hold in the beaver tail safety. <laughs> All right. And with these KWAs, which is a very good feature, they have these um, spring-loaded don't know exactly what you call them but they go in this tube 
you just kind of have to move that back when you put it in. Make sure the uh, actual beaver tail stays in as well. It's quite difficult actually. You can take this off if you need to. So I'm actually going to use a paper clip to slide that little guide thing back so I can get this uh, actually just fell out so we put that back in for you so you see it goes right in there this is what the kind of hard to put these safeties on with those So this goes on like in there. Kind of have to just push these things back. All right, now it's in. And you can also put the other one on the other side, which just kind of matches in with it because it's ambidextrous so they kind of fit together all right so once you have that in make sure this is flat and that's down and the trigger uh, little hammer I don't know pole should be in between this little slot in the beaver tail that you put it in so now you can, we can put this on which will keep the trigger spring, which has this trigger spring in it. So you just put that side on and you can just, oh, one of the um, safeties just fell out. And there's a pin down here you put in. So then right here, you put that back in and it all should work. Yeah, see? works. So middle, all the way back, you can push it slowly so it works as well. Alright, so that's how you put one together guys, just the bottom part, you know, you can easily put on the grips. You guys should know how to do that. Just go right on, screw on, and then the top will slide in. And here's a magazine, you know, Show you everything kind of works. I'll uh, go fire it right now, I guess. And just figure. So this slides back on here. Actually, gonna have to take out the magazine. Sorry about that. This slides on here. Everything just kind of slides back in. You're going to have to cock that back and push this side in so we can get it all the way down in there. And then just pull it back so you can get this one in. You guys, if you guys took it out, you can put it back. Bada bing. Bada boom. There's your gun. I'm just going to kind of wipe it off right here. Got a little excess on it, but now I'm going to go shoot it. It's already, this part just came off again, but it's not needed for shooting. All right, let's go shoot it, guys. So I have the gun right here. Out of bullets, but gun definitely shot thanks for watching guys just leave any comments for any questions and I will definitely answer them for you
Thank you, guys.